Hello everyone, this is Aaron. Um, and getting to go away a little bit from the PCP uh, videos I always do uh, because I'm starting to get into fishing and so I want to start to interject some fishing videos into my uh, to my channel. And so I'm going to separate it but only by entitled. Uh, I'm not going to start another channel just for fishing. So it'll still be mainly uh, PCPs and air guns but uh, I'm going to be throwing this in uh, also. But today, one of the things I was, I was wrestling with, uh, because right now it's ice fishing season. Being ice fishing season, um, the people, my nephew who I uh, am going to be doing a lot of fishing with and has done some fishing with, um, he was telling me about flashers and that sort of thing. And, um, and I know if you're watching this, then chances are there's a very good chance you know what a flasher is basic, uh, versus a fish finder. And as I looked at you know, flashers, I looked at a whole bunch of different types of flashers. It hit me, you know, that flasher can only be used in the wintertime. In the summer, I'm stuck with it until, until the ice comes back. So I started to look around. I said, hey, there's got to be something out there that does both, isn't it? So as I looked around, I found that, yes, there is someone that, that do, do both. And the one that does it the best, there are others out there, and you can take a look into them, uh, is the Garmin and, and the Garmin Striker. And I think there's five different versions of this strike, of the striker. But what this thing is, it's very unique. If you don't know anything about it, if you do, uh, allow me just a moment. The unique thing about this is that you can, you, as I said, you could you can do you could do summer. I mean, you could do summer and just go do fish finding with it. Um, and in the wintertime, you could turn on the flasher and you could flash with it. To me, that sold me on it. But then when I started to look into this thing, then I really was even more perplexed than I was uh, at the beginning. In the in the this is the thing. The basic bottle, the striker four, which is this one, is a very good unit. Does everything. As I looked into it, I saw that the models went progressively up. But as they went progressively up, the dollar amount was not correspondingly different than that next version up. So uh, just an example. This is the four. Then they had the four plus. Then they had the four plus CV. And then uh, I had the CV. Then they had the plus CV, and then it, it went up to, and, and this is the top one at the time, anyway, that I'm doing this video. This is a Vivid. This is the top of the line. The difference between the two. This one here, I paid $100 for, uh, $999.99, okay? And I sold them for a higher price, all the way up to $119. I paid $169 for this. I caught a good sale on it uh, on eBay. $169. Now there's only a $69 difference between these two, but in terms of in terms of clarity, in terms of uh, um, um, basic overall function, everything, even size, this one is bigger. Uh, this is a better buy, especially for 60, uh, 69 more dollars. So, but um, what I decided to do was, I have this one, and I'm gonna be, um, uh, uh, and I ordered this one. Then I heard about this. Then I ordered this one. I got both of them. Uh, this one I'm going to have to send back, but I want to do this video before I do. It's basically what it is. This is an unboxing of the two, and then we're going to do a quick comparison of the two, and that's how we'll close this video out in case you are t wanting to take a look at this. But uh, again, as you take a look at the prices, the price difference, for you start at 100 here, you go to the plus, you get up to about 120 or so, you go get up to the, C the, C the CVR or whatever it says, you have to look that up, I can't recall exactly. You're going up another twenty dollars, and you keep climbing. You keep climbing until you get to the top one, and that's how that's what the progression is. But right now, let's just do an unboxing and show these things. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some power to them and show you the difference in terms of the size. Uh, and I hope that um, in the um, in the example mode that these both have, that you will be able to put them side by side and see the quality difference in them also. So right now, let's just do an unboxing of these things. Let's go. Okay, we're back and we're going to do the unboxing now, just to see what's in the box. We're going to start out with uh, uh, the little Garmin uh, Striker 4 in the basic model. This is the $99 model. And of course we have the unit itself. Take the plate off. We have the unit itself. Uh, we have a base, we have a base for the unit. Transducer, the 
power cord. And all of the mounts. And of course, lastly, we have uh, the instructions for mounting and also the uh, manual for, for doing it. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna set this to the side really, really quickly. We'll go to the other one, then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of these guys. And I think you're going to find the same thing in here, but... Um, okay. Alright, in here we have the unit, and you're going to see that there's, there's quite a difference between the unit. And this is why I... this is one of the decisions that made me go uh, with the bigger unit. Uh, for, as I said, the little price difference. We'll compare these screens in a second and you'll see what I'm talking about. And of course, in here we also have uh, the uh, transducer, the mounts, and everything we had over there, power supply and mount. So there's no difference in terms of that. I'll, I'm just going to set this thing up really, really quickly and come back so we can take a look at uh, exactly what a side-by-side -side comparison. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. This is a $99 Garmin 4, and this is the $169 Garmin uh, Vivid. Now you can see, first of all, I just want to point out the quick, the quick differences, then we're going to go through the menu of this thing. Uh, the big difference is this, is the screen size. Okay, uh, this one is, I think this one is three and a quarter, and this one is four and a quarter. And as you see, that one inch makes a big difference in terms of view. Okay. Okay, now let me show you, besides this glaring difference between the uh, the screens, let me show you the difference between the transducer. This is the transducer here uh, for the uh, Garmin Strike 4. I'm sorry I don't have a lot of light in here, but that's the size of it. Let me show you the size difference. Okay, this is the one, and this is the one for the Vivid. Okay, see the difference there? Twist them around a little bit. This one here is going to really pick up a lot more uh, and therefore give you that vivid view that you're talking about. So not only do you get a glaring difference for, for 160 uh, for about 70 more dollars, you're going to get a better transducer, you're going to get a bigger screen, and you're going to get a clear picture, I believe, also. Okay, after looking at those transducers, let's take a, let's put these things in a, uh, in flasher mode first of all. And this is for ice fishing pur purposes so we're just going to move up the uh, to flasher. And we're going to hit OK. And we're in flasher mode. We're going to come over to this one here and do the same thing. Come down and go into flasher mode. And as you can see the mo they look exactly alike. But the difference is the size. The one on the right is going to be a little bit easier to read than the one on the left. And I can take them into demo mode, and I will do that in a second. But I uh, just wanted to show you the size difference there in terms of uh, what you're getting. So again, you know, the size makes a difference. The transducer is going to make a difference in terms of that. Okay, we're back, and now what we can do is... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this into, I got, in, I got both of them in simulator. And because everything is simulated now, you're going to be able to see each one of these as they, as they go. So this is the traditional setting on the clear view. And this is the traditional setting on the four. As you can see, the screen makes a big difference again uh, in terms of this simulation. I'm not going to try to, to uh, try to tell you what you're looking at uh, in terms of fish, uh, but you can really see that the one on the right hand side is giving you a lot more detail uh, than the one on the left in this sim in this simulation in terms of identifying fish and the clarity and just the size of it. So let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the next function. So to do that, all you got to do is hit the back. I'm just going to take you back to menu. And now we're going to go down to the second view, which is, we already did flasher. So I'm going to jump past flasher down to split 
frequency. Yep. And I'm not gonna get into I'm not gonna get into all of this, uh, but I do want to show you one thing though, because one thing that this one does have uh, that this one doesn't have is clear view. So I'm gonna go back up to clear view, and I'm gonna hit clear view on this. And you can change that color saturation. And then over here, I'm just gonna go back to uh, traditional, because on this one, all you get is traditional, and just show you the difference. So check that out. Okay, so clear view on the on the right hand side uh, and the regular four on the left hand side. Whereas both of them are going to be showing you fish and that sort of thing. I want you to look at the detail for six for seventy more dollars. Let's let's say, look at the detail that you're getting for seventy more dollars. You're getting a better transducer that's going to give you a clearer image. And you're still going to be able to see the fish on both, uh, especially when you set the gain and that sort of thing. But right now, what we're taking a look at is just the, just the imaging of the two and see that the clear view is really one that is going to show you a lot more detail in terms of that and right now I have it in the blue mode uh, there's another mode uh, I like it a lot better which is gold uh, but we'll get into that later but I just want you to see the difference between the two and being able to tell you what's on the bottom in terms of trees and other things that might be down there okay All right. so we'll come out of that again Go back to our main menu, and now that, we, now that we've seen the two different sort of views, which is really the biggest thing with this thing, uh, we're going to go down to split frequency. And we'll do the same thing here. We're going to go down to our split frequency. And hit check on that. And again, what it allows you to do, I'm not going to get into details again of this thing and how it's working. This is only to show you the difference between the two in terms of uh, in terms of the clarity, in terms of the size, in terms of uh, the brightness and that sort of thing. And again, for me, uh, there's no comparison in terms of uh, whether or not one should pay that extra $70 and to get the top of the line vivid versus the bottom of the line four. But the bottom of the line four is going to work well. If you, I mean, you're just out there fishing, you just want to identify some fish and, and look at that structure and all those things are not that important to you and that sort of thing. Uh, as you can see, the one on the left is doing a tremendous job of that too. For me, the size makes a lot of difference. Um, and so for me, when I look at the split image, I really do need to, uh, with these old eyes, uh, be able to see a very clear uh, uh, picture. But I think both of them will do, will do the job for you. But these are just my choices between the two since I had a chance to look at both of them. So let's take it back again. The main menu. And let's see what's on down there. Wait, okay. Uh, waypoint maps. Waypoint maps. I'm not gonna get into it, but waypoint maps are gonna allow you. Okay, we're just gonna take this back to uh, the menu again. Okay, let me just touch on another couple of things with this pointer here before we close this thing out. Okay. Okay, uh, we basically checked on everything that was right there. We did a split frequency, we did a flash, and we did a traditional versus the clear view, and you can see the difference there. We've got the clear view side by side here uh, with, the, with the regular view that this would have, and the clear view is showing you the difference between the bottom uh, structures and how clear everything is there in terms of that bottom structure. You've got the user data uh, and that kind of thing, and you can draw maps with it. Uh, you can do there's all kinds of things you can do with this, mainly because you know, Garmin is the leader when it comes to GPS. Uh, they, they set the standard. And so when they came out with, a, um, with this fish finder and I saw Garmin on it, I knew right away it was going to be a good product. Um, and so that's why I went with it. But with that, I'm, uh, let me just come back around and uh, we're going to close this thing out. I think I showed you as much as I can here. And uh, let's, go up, let's go back and talk about the rest of it. Okay. Okay, we're back, and uh, I hope you uh, guys got something out of this. I'm doing this video because I did end up studying this one very, very, uh, and watching every video I could find on the Garmin uh, Striker 4. And then, and, then, and at the time that I watched it, I didn't even know there was the other version. Did I find another version, another version? And by the time I got, got up to the plus, I said, wait a minute. There's got to be something above that. So I went out and I studied, and I found out they had just came out with the Vivid. Uh, 
and the Vivid, uh, every model, I will say this though, if you just want to go one up, once you get to the plus, you get into the four inch. Yeah, I think that uh, the Garmin 4, uh, Striker 4 is the one that is three and a quarter. I think once you go to any other ones above this one, they go to four, but check on that to make sure. But I will say this, if you don't want to go all the way up to this one, I would at least go up to a bigger uh, screen. Uh, I tell you, this thing is real popular among people that are, that are using kayaks. I'm going to have it on a very small boat this summer myself. When I take it out, I'm going to do a video on, on fishing with it there. But uh, I just think it's, the thing is wonderful. I think that they were having waypoints and being able to mark your spots and go back to those spots on every lake that you go to and I take the guesswork out of where you're exactly where you want to be um, is a plus. And I think that this thing with continual mapping that shows you everywhere where you go on the lake so you can retrace your steps even if you don't do a waypoint, I think that's another uh, great advantage. And uh, again, the clear view I think really, really tops them all in terms of being able to see in detail the uh, structure of the bottom. So with that, I want to just close this thing out and just say again that for all of my people that are out there that are that are uh, watching for the PCPs and my and the, and, and the air guns and that sort of thing, I'm going to continue to do those. This is something on the side. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to try to post a video, uh, post those videos on Sunday. I'm gonna post these midweek so that you'll know if it does pop up that that's a fishing video. So if you get a if you know if you get a uh, if you have uh, ring the bell. And it pops up on a Wednesday or a Tuesday or a Thursday, you'll know it's about fishing or something other than air guns. If it pops up on a Saturday or Sunday, you know it's air guns. And that way, we'll keep uh, at least that confusion down. So with that again, let me uh, just thank you guys for that and, and let you understand that uh, I am going to be adding fishing to this channel. It's just that I'm going to try my best to be able to separate the two in terms of releases of nothing else. So thanks for tuning in. I want to thank you guys for subscribing. and. Uh, Thank you guys for being tolerant with me that, that, that love the PCPs like I do, uh, but just try to get some other interests in here. Thanks. Have a good one.